Hi guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would share a bag review with you guys. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 25. So if you follow my channel, then you know I purchased this a couple of months ago. And I did an unboxing on this, so if you want to watch that, I'll leave a link down below. But this time around, I've had it for a good couple of months now, so I thought it was time to do a bag review. So let's jump into it. So like I said, this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 25. Um, this is is the difference between this and a normal speedy is that it obviously comes with additional straps um also has this side panel as well that's pretty much the only difference um this is the 25 so the dimensions is pretty much 25 by 20 i believe and 15 wide as well um it is the monogram print so you get the signature monogram print as well as the top handles hard handles um also comes with a little lv locket and keys for that as well. I'm not sure whether you're meant to use it or whether it's just like a, you know, like a design kind of thing, but I don't use it, so I just leave it hanging there. And it also comes with obviously these straps, which are adjustable, so you can make it longer, shorter, and they are also removable as well. Um, but yeah, so basically, I purchased this about two and a half, almost three months ago. Um, I was, this wasn't really on top of my list, but I was kind of looking for an everyday bag, and um, I was, I normally look for the 30 speedy, but I thought I would downsize because I'm looking for, I don't know, nowadays I tend to gravitate towards smaller bags and I thought the 25 would be perfect for an everyday and it is actually still quite big quite big and it also holds quite a lot so I'll show you what I have in here this is all the stuff that I've accumulated over the past two and a half months um, I if you've watched my previous video I did last week um, I'll leave that link down below um, for, for work I normally take my backpack so I don't use this often because I don't go out often that's why I kind of waited two two months or so to kind of do this review um, so I can share it with you guys but I'll show you all the stuff I'll empty out the bag first and give a overall review so I'm going to show you the stuff that I've got here that I've accumulated so the first thing I've got is my phone and check out this case it's so cute this is pizza so i've got my phone i've also got here a water bottle i get really thirsty nowadays so i've got a water bottle in here and yes this is everything that's in my bag as well um i've got here my mini pochette um that i just take out for just my wallet and i usually keep my phone in here as well and it's got my little burberry wallet in here most of these stuff if you've been following me is pretty much all the same as what I've always used so don't be surprised if you see a lot of things that I've already shown you before um, I've also got here my keys I've got a Ventolin puff I don't really have um, I should really put these in little pockets because they're all kind of scattered all over my bag I've also got a little Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer my lippies lip gloss my Burberry roll on perfume as well as the Maybelline um, concealer and I've also got this little gift so my parents went to Japan recently and came back um, honestly like, I don't really expect anything when they go overseas because they buy a lot of weird stuff and I don't know why but they came back and they bought me this necklace which I thought was super cute then I realized it's so weird it's like peanuts I don't know if you can see, but it's like pearls with peanuts in it. I don't know why, but this is why I don't ask them to buy me anything because they buy me a lot of weird stuff. But I saw them a while ago actually and it's just been in my bag since. So I've got that. I've also got a lip liner, MAC in Whirl. And okay, I'm going to take out the biggest thing that's like in my bag that's blocking everything. I have a full size tissue box in here. Yes, a tissue box. It fits. I got sick um, a while ago, so I thought I'd carry this around me. And it kind of fits in my bag, so I just kind of left it in there. Um, I've also got some soothers, the lemon honey ones. Um, like I said, because I was sick and I've just kind of left it in there ever since. I've also got here some receipts. Um, oh, this is where the other. I was like trying to find this. This is the Maybelline lip pencil. This is the Color Sensational Position lip liner. Got this a few weeks, actually about a month ago. It's actually quite good. So I've got that one. And I've also got some lady stuff because, you know, always be prepared. Mint. Some doggy bags. 
because I think we went out with Coco a while back. Um, so I have been carrying them since. Some tissue, new tissues, not used. Um, also got a um, compact mirror. And I think that's pretty much it. So that's all that it was in my bag. You'll see I've also got this little thing in here as well. So when I bought this, when I purchased this bag, I was kind of worried about... Um, I wanted kind of like a bag organizer because it seemed like the uh, material was very soft. I'm not sure whether this is leather or canvas. I'm pretty sure it's canvas, but this is the bag once I've taken everything out. And you have noticed that it's quite... It looks quite firm, but it's actually quite soft as well. So if you don't carry a lot of stuff in it, the back, the bottom kind of droops a bit. So I did mention this in my unbox unboxing. That was the only thing that I didn't really like how it kind of sat like this. So I did actually go and buy a bag organizer to kind of fit into it. Now, while I was looking, I was actually looking for a bag organizer, but I kind of left it last minute. I ended up just buying one online. So I bought this one off eBay. Um, I'll leave a link down if I can find it, but this is by my Leora, um, which is good because it's got little compartments and stuff, and this is perfect for the Speedy 25. I think it's custom for that anyways. Um, the only thing is, though, these are not cheap. This cost me, like, 40 something dollars and I was actually thinking about going to Daiso to see if they have any, like, boxes similar to this so I can put into it but I never got around to it so I thought you know what I probably wouldn't find it so I'll just go and buy it online but I didn't expect these to be quite expensive this one cost me like $40 and this was on eBay as well um, but then again I did spend a lot of money on the bag so I'm seeming you know if you're going to spend a lot of, lot of money on the bag then you might as well spend a bit more to kind of look after it which is why I ended up buying this um, because I was too lazy to go to Daiso to find one and then the next day after I paid for this I actually went into Daiso and I found this which actually fits perfectly so I wanted to show you guys this um, if you haven't bought a bag insert don't waste your money like me and spend 40 bucks on this when you can just get this um, this is obviously like it's not exact size but it fits perfectly I'm not sure um, what size this is i think when i measured this was about 25 to 16 so it actually it looks a little bit different this one obviously fits perfectly but this one you know what like it still fits in it so it's fine the only thing i recommend though and this cost two dollars eighty as well so i'm really regretting that i didn't get up off my ass and go to daiso first to look for this because i would have saved myself 40 bucks but and then i wasted two dollars eighty for buying this to show you guys anyway but anyways so yeah, so if you are looking for a bag insert, you can pay 40 bucks for this if you like to have like little organizing pouches in it. But if you just want something to kind of keep the shape, this honestly is perfect. Um, the only thing I'd recommend is probably not to get black um, if you can find something of a lighter color. Because the only thing I have to say about this bag after using it for a few months is that the opening is actually quite small. Oh, I've got other stuff in here. I've got a spoon. And I've got a ticket to the National Gallery. So, anyway, so yeah, that is the only downside is that um, what I found when I was using it every day is that the opening I find it is a little bit small because even though it looks the same shape, um, the zip kind of makes it a little bit small to get into. So, this I guess will be great if you want to organize things in certain places. For me, I usually just chuck things in and out. Um, but yeah, that was the only problem that I found was that the zip was a bit small. But apart from that, it actually holds a lot of stuff in. Um, it sits very comfortably. I usually have it as a crossover bag. Um, so it sits really comfortably. It's really easy to grab and go when you're out. And another feature it also has as well is a little pocket in here, um, which I don't actually use because I've got the organizer that kind of blocks it. But I just keep the keys that the bag came with in there. But yeah, so that is... The bag. So like I said previously, I've always kind of looked at the size 30 um, speedy bags, never the 25 because I always thought the 25 would be a lot smaller. But surprisingly, the 25 actually still fits a lot of things in it as well. So I'm really happy that I got the 25 instead of the 30. Um, I'm not sure. I think I could probably even go smaller. But the only thing about going smaller is the... Um, the opening so I think this is perfect um, I'm really happy with it it's durable it's easy it's convenient and it's you know just really easy everyday kind of bag and for traveling as well which is really good um, but yeah so that is my overall review 
um, I hope you like this video let me know if you've got this bag and um, what your thoughts are how you've been liking it but so far I've been really happy obviously I haven't really gone out much because I don't have much of a social life but if I did then I think this is a really good bag because you can take it out during the day and at night as well um, but yeah, so I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye!